Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are taking a look at a website called Game Round, and this website will let you actually play and test upcoming games. A huge thank you goes to the guys at Game Round and also Catapult for the sponsor for this video. And if you guys head down to the description, the very top link will actually bring you to this site so that you can sign up and start testing games yourselves. The best thing about it is once you start leaving reviews and filling out surveys and stuff, you will actually earn prizes. As you will see on the left hand side of the screen there is a little tab called G Point which is a shop where you can actually redeem different prizes that are available by spending the points that you earn. So in order to sign up all you have to do is go to gameround.co and as I said there's a link in the top of the description so that will make it very very easy it will take you straight to their website but if you go to G Round so when you are on their website all you want to do is at the top click sign up now once you've done that, you can sign up with Facebook or you can sign up with your email. Just put in your email, create a password and you can sign up. Very, very simple. So what we are going to do, if you go to testing on the left hand side, we're going to actually test out a game in this video as well. You can see that it says playing now and there are different games that are available. Each game will last on this website for up to four weeks. And if we scroll down, you can see survey in United Kingdom. I'm going to go with Rules of Alchemy as an action roguelike RPG. So if I click on visit, it will take me to the site. You can see a trailer there so you can check out the games before you actually play them. And then what you need to do is actually install the launcher so that you can launch the game. So underneath you'll see how to install. Click on that and it says if you don't have the launcher installed, go to the website and download it first. So I'm going to click the link to download the launcher. So when you click on the link, it's going to take you to a Google Drive document. This is 100% safe. You can't scan it for viruses, but there won't be any included. So once you have downloaded that Google Drive file, you will see this little box pop up. And it's just like any other program on your computer. You pick a destination folder and I'm going to install it to my D drive YT games and I'm going to click install. And there we go. So I now have the G Round Launcher Alpha installed on my computer. So what you then do is go back to the G Round website, you visit the game page and you click at the very top play game. Once you click that, you're going to open the launcher, install the game from the list of games made available, and then you click on play once the installation is complete so that you can load up the game and play it. One of the best things about this site is the reviews can be left in any language across the world. You don't have to be from the UK or the US. Literally any language is available. And they also have a Discord. You can join the community, chat with other people. It's all about testing games, leaving feedback for the developers so that they can improve the games and basically release them with more community feedback so that the players are more happy with the game. Okay, so we have the launcher. We are ready to go. So if we press play game, what that's going to do is if you haven't installed the launcher, it's going to bring up a pop-up so that you can install it. If you've already got it installed like I have, you just click play game. Then you accept all the stuff with opening the link. Then what it's going to do is bring you back to the launcher. And if we go to rules of alchemy, the one I want to play, there are options to install community support. So we click install and that's going to go to our G round launcher like folder. And this is five and a half gigs. So if we get this installed, Okay, so you'll see that it's only installing 1.4 gig and it's going to 50 megabits per second. There is a download bar. It did take a little while, like a, a few minutes or something to actually start the download. Okay, so after the download, you'll see that it's extracting files and we just need to run through this. It's going very quick now. And there we go. It's all installed. It is ready to play. So let's click play. Okay, and I made a little bit of a mistake with this. I tried launching the game with the launcher already open, but it tells you that authentication has failed. You need to actually press play game before the launcher is launched. So your very first step will be sign in to G Round, leave the launcher closed, click on your game, press play game. It will bring up the pop up, you click play game. Then at the top, you will allow the site to open. You choose application, choose the launcher. Then that is going to update the launcher itself. And then if I go to the library and I press play this time, there we go. So unfortunately for me, this is very loud. It's an early build of the game. There are no options, absolutely zero. But if I press play, 
Deep in the Dreamwood Forest, a reluctant alchemist named Asha has been tasked with finding the Philosopher's Stone, the last hope of repairing her shattered world before it merges with a hellish dimension. I'm actually going to need to go to my sound manager on my PC and turn this down a little bit. Okay, that's much better for me. If it's too quiet, I'll turn it up in editing. So, what we're going to do is unpause. It's going to bring up the basics. Like, this is an alpha build version 0.48 you'll see in the top right corner. And this is Rules of Alchemy. So, our task is to defeat Kel Jaron. The Kel have invaded. Tears have erupted from the ground, seeping with dark energy. So, what we need to do is left mouse, it's a click and like move one. Press Q. Oh, we get to choose a weapon sword, staff, or bow. I'm going to go with a staff. I don't know, staff or bow. I like my ranged combat in games. I'll take the bow. So it's left mouse to move. Right mouse to attack. Tab for your inventory. Space to dash. Okay, so what I need to do now is I pressed R to bring up the rune gate. Two agility, two air magic. Strength and fire magic. Vitality, earth magic. Intelligence, water magic. I'm going to take fire. Spell unlocked. And then this is tier 2. I can unlock that. And then I can also take that one. This forest isn't kind to travellers, but I have a remedy for that, among other things. Curious, who would venture into such perils? Uh, just sell me your strongest potion. Okay, I actually got given a potion. It grants 30 strength for 20 seconds. Find us a mana root. What is that? Look at that thing. It's an absolute beast. I'm being shot at by other things. Okay, I'm definitely using one of those. Two of those. Three of those, why not? I'm hoping I can find some more very soon. I'm going to need them. Ether stones. What, did he just fully heal? Please. No, don't let, don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. He's going to heal. He's going to heal. He healed back to full. Right, let me uh, get myself wiped out. There we go. You died. Select an entry to change controls. So that's just... You can wishlist it, Discord exit. Or you can go back to the main menu. Controller support is still in development. So they're planning to put in controller support. So what we're going to do is leave that. It's a pretty enjoyable game. It obviously needs a bit of work. It's still in development right now. So what we can do is leave the game. So if we come back to the website itself, underneath where it says play game, you can click review and then it pops up with this. So game idea, is the game unique? Would you replay it? Yes, I would. Clarity, rate how smoothly the game introduced mechanics, options and features. That was a, like, a pretty good implementation. However, I feel... There could be a little bit more work done because I felt the instructions weren't like as clear as they could be with the tutorials and stuff. Difficulty, I would say in terms of it being easy and hard, I'd say it's in the middle. It's a roguelike. Once you die, you have to start all over again. And then the audio. What's your opinion about the audio? Like soundtrack, sound effects and voice acting. I'd say they were pretty good. Bugs, did you encounter any and technical issues? No, I didn't. Replayability, would you purchase this game? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. And then recommendation, would you recommend this game to a friend? Yeah, possibly, if people like RPGs, I'll give it a four. And then do you have any additional feedback? I want to quickly type out a little bit of feedback. There we go. So you can see that I've left a bit of additional feedback, just explaining my thoughts about the game. I enjoyed it. A little bit like difficult to begin with in terms of understanding. The tutorial could use work. And then the items felt good, armor and stuff was dropping at a nice rate, so the potions. And then all you want to do after that is click save, and your review has been sent. And remember, you can leave reviews in any language in the world. So what it will do is leave your review there. It will leave all of your pointers and everything like that. You can go back and edit it if you want to. And then also, if you want to basically try and farm G points to earn some prizes for playing these games... You're going to earn up to 85 through the playtest. So TBA for download and play. Complete reviews, you get 5. Review selected by Studio 25. So that's if the developers choose to use your review to put up for the game and stuff. 
If you complete a global survey, you get five. And then if your global survey gets selected, you get 50. So how to get the G points, you download the game and join the playtest. You complete the minimum requirements for the playtest. For an example, play the game for 30 minutes. Write a review, submit it. Then you can do an initial global survey. It will open up for all users. And then localized surveys will open up in selected countries. And if yours gets picked, fill the survey and submit. So what I'm going to do is take part in the survey as well. So what are things you most like about the game? And there we go. So I filled out that entire survey. I'm going to press save. And my survey answer has been sent. And then if we take a look here, I've been a member since the very beginning of September. I've left a review. I've done a global survey. How many games and stuff I'm testing is to be decided. But if you have a look on the right hand side in blue, I have five G points. So yes, it's not a lot of points, but it's a start. I've not been a member for too long. The more I get involved with, the more I do, the higher my points will get. And then if we head over to the G points store, you can use your points. And for 1500, you can get yourself some headphones. 400, you can get yourself a mouse. 800, you get a tumbler. Then 500, you can get a nice looking mouse pad. And all of that will be completely free from just simply signing up to the site. Use the link in the description. Once you're signed up, download the launcher, install some of the games on here. They're like switched out every four weeks. And if we go back to the testing tab, you'll see that these end, these two here on the 22nd of September. So it's a very cool website. Again, thank you to the guys over at Game Round or G Round and also Catapult for sponsoring this video. That is going to wrap it up. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.